Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're gonna to talk about the spare parts kit. So this is my spare parts kit that I keep for AR-15 stuff that I bring with me when I teach rifle classes in case someone has an issue uh, so that we can get their gun up and running with a, a fairly simple fix and uh, move on with the class and keep their enjoyment levels up. There are little spare parts kits like this that you can buy online. In general, I would probably tell you not to do that. This one I've just assembled over the years uh, as I've collected different guns and swapped out different pieces and upgraded different things. And I end up having all these spare parts. And rather than throw them away or whatever other bad use I could think of, uh, I put them together in a kit so that if I'm out and about somewhere, I'm teaching a class or I'm on the range and something goes down, your whole day doesn't have to end and you can keep on ticking. So that's in general what I would tell you to do. If you have a couple rifles, chances are you've done some upgrades here and there, save all those pieces and put them together in a cute little Tupperware thing. So here we go. First thing I have in here is just a charging handle. This is just a standard boring PSA charging handle. I hate their charging handles. Every time I buy a PSA gun, I always change the charging handle and so I have a couple of these lying around. And the other thing we have in here is just a standard carbine buffer. Uh, it's not an H buffer or H1 or 2 or anything like that, just a standard carbine buffer. I have seen buffers get chewed up before uh, and start taking pieces off of them and causing issues. So it's good to just have a spare buffer around that you can toss in. Next is a bolt carrier group. That's obvious uh, why you would need that. Uh, sometimes bolts get chewed up themselves. So I just have an extra bolt carrier group, again, from some upgrade that I had at one point. Uh, and now I have an extra, so I carry it around with me. Next in here is the A2 flash hider with the crush ring. Uh, I have some tools and I have a different video of the tools that I carry uh, as well. However, I have the A2 here on here because when I teach rifle classes, we do a lot of close proximity shooting. And if someone comes with a comp, that is murder on their partner. And to be able to clamp that sucker down and swap it out real quick with an actual flash suppressor, or a flash hider, excuse me. Uh, suppressors are much better, but a flash hider, it's gonna be a marked improvement to move the A2 over whatever weird comp that they have. Moving along here, I have a piece of sticky Velcro. This is like super heavy duty. This is honestly way overdone. Uh, but this is some super heavy duty Velcro that you could use for a tape switch or something like that. Uh, you never know when you might need some super heavy duty Velcro so that's what that's in here for. In general, this is just a little lower parts kit, you know, so extra springs and detents and all that kind of stuff that if someone, for whatever reason, was doing surgery on their gun and they were to lose something or whatever, we have the ability to replace and fix that in the moment. Again, these are some more little detents and springs right here. I think this is a takedown pin in here. Uh, I have an extra hook clamp thing. Uh, if we had to rig up a sling or repair a sling, uh, we have a way to clamp it down. You could use some paracord to attach it and or you could make a paracord sling if it really came down to it. Here I just have a, uh, my brain is spacing out of me so I cannot think of what the actual name of this part is, but you know what the name of this part is. And I have one here and then I have another one here with a ratcheting castle nut. Uh, so I have two different options there again. If something goes down and we have to fix it, we can, we can replace it. And last but not least, I have these little red wedges. And what these are designed to do is sit in your lower receiver to help clean up the slop between your lower receiver and your upper receiver. So it sits in the lower receiver just like that and the upper comes down and closes on it. And this is supposed to make up the difference. So if you have a lot of slop between your upper and your lower, this will clean that up for you. Uh, I bought this uh, set of these a long time ago. I've used a couple in different builds and now I have some extras. So again, I just keep that on hand that that's a quick, easy fix if someone has a lot of slop or a home build or something like that, that can make your life a lot better. And that's it. That is my little extra parts kit that I carry with me. Again, I think this is something you might want if you have a couple different guns or if you go shooting with different people a lot. But in general, if you're just kind of a one or two rifle man, I don't know that you necessarily need this. But as you collect those extra parts and upgrades and whatever, save all the extra pieces because you can have yourself a nice little kit. Do brave deeds and endure.